I think the people here at the Stedman Clinic are truly who make this place special. I always thought I would do this later on in life, and I'm so glad I did it now. And I'm so glad that I came here to Stedman. And actually get hands-on with these patients, and you get to see a lot of things that you don't necessarily get to see in the traditional setting. I think my clinical highlight is on Dr. Godin's service, and I had finally gotten like my, this is for sure, a lock lens. And then he came in, he was like, yeah, that was great. And so that just felt really good. I have just been so impressed with the Stedman Clinic physicians and how genuinely invested they were in me this whole year. I don't think the physicians realize how these moments like stick in our minds, but I have so many firsts with them, like they're, they're core memories. The biggest thing that I learned at the Stedman Clinic was patient-centered care. Being a patient here at the Stedman Clinic, very thankful that if I was gonna tear my ACL, I did it here. I was in great hands with Dr. Armando Vidal and his team. Something I'll always remember with my class, Maroon Bells. That was like our first kind of big outing. My classmates took me there for my birthday taking a day trip to Aspen to see one of the most photographed mountains in the world. Beautiful and there was snow in like October. That will be a great memory that I'll cherish forever. And, and I think the first time we all went out on the mountain skiing and snowboarding. It was an experience because none of us knew what we were doing. It's, it's so fun to tell patients like, yeah, I live here now. And I traded the beaches for the mountains, but the mountains have been so good to me. Finally getting a chance to scrub in, that was one of my favorite parts about this year. Traditional athletic training, we don't get to see the OR side at all. Here we get to see step by step. We get to see them come in with this pain, present with it, um, be able to give them treatment options. Dr. Sachar went into surgery with him. The patient was awake, so he was quietly like tapping and showing me what to do. It was a cool moment because I was able to kind of read his mind and read what he was saying. I would not have made it through the year without my class. Woo! This is the part that makes me want to cry. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to cry, but this might be where you get me. <laughs> just thank you for being amazing. I know, I'm just very thankful for this whole experience. I'm not crying, <laughs> but come hailing for a while. We'll see, I might, I might shed a tear because my six classmates have been really special. I'm thankful for being here. I feel like I've grown so much as a person. Preceptors, MD fellows, physicians are all to thank. Thank you, Brandy, for everything. And thank you to all the physicians. This has definitely been one of the best years of my life. Here at the Stedman Clinic has just been incredible. So I am very thankful that I've had this opportunity here. I'll always remember it was one of my first days in the OR because I was with Dr. Millet and uh, his PA was like, hey, Corey, like you should go over there and you know see what Dr. Millet's doing because he's prepping an OCA. I started walking over there and Dr. Millet looks at me and he goes, Corey, did I tell you to move? And I was like, no, sir, I'm sorry. And I just walked right back there, but it was just kind of funny and I, I joke about it now. Uh. It was scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>